Good morning, guys. What is going on? It is a gloomy day here in Atlanta, Georgia. We're here at Culture Collision, day two, Saturday. We're getting ready. It is 9 a.m. right now. The venue just now opened, so let's get in there, set up, get ready, and let's get fired up. Guys, so it's Saturday and it's about 9.30 and it's looking packed. Our table is getting pretty crowded. People are coming by buying and selling cards. Looking pretty good so far. Yeah, the doors just opened I think like 30 minutes ago. Uh, so here's a look. I got some Pokemon cases here, pretty cool. Got some random sports stuff all the way down, basketball, values, uh, all that good stuff. Basketball tournament is going on right now. Pretty cool. I don't think there's any other car shows in America that has a basketball tournament. I think the price this year is like five thousand uh, dollars per person on a winning team. So that's crazy. That's a, that's a good amount. But yes, yeah, packed so far. All right, guys, in the mission time, taking a lunch break. It is 11.30 right now. It's slowing down a little bit, kind of. I mean, we still got some people at our table, but it's not as crazy as it was uh, an hour ago. So it's time to take a break. Uh, the show ends at 5 today, so we got about another five and a half hours left, which is not bad at all. And we got train night at the grand opening at uh, Car HQ. Uh, with Jeff Wilson and stuff like that, so we might go there and check it out. Obviously, after dinner, of course. Uh, they got a water burger next door, so that might be a play. They actually got a lot of restaurants here around here, but it is Saturday, so we're not trying to wait two hours. But we'll see what happens and see how the show does. Looks like we got a big bird walking around. Big Bird! Freddy! What's up, Freddy? Found it! Let's go! Let's go, Eagle, go! Alright, guys, it is picking up again. Look how crowded our table is. There's no space even to squeeze in. I'm making deal happen. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's pretty hard vlogging at car shows, especially when you're vending. Uh, we've got six tables, six eight tables here, and we got a lot of inventory. And we move stuff very fast. We bring stuff in and we move stuff really fast. This gentleman here, they came by like three or four times buying, and selling with us. I really want to make. Uh, Record all the stuff we pick up for you, all the stuff we moved, so you guys want to like, but it's just we just really don't have time because we have like 10 people per person. You see all these people here, we only have three people back here, so we don't really have time and try my best to vlog here, but it's pretty hard. But I did take some pictures, so maybe at the end I can post up some pictures of the stuff that we picked up and moved, but we'll see what happens. Thirty-six total. Yeah. We're trying desperately to get us some uh, Jordans here. Desperately. And driving a hard bargain. All right. I even willing to throw in a hat, but you gotta wear it. Sure. Check them. 
Google TV. This will be everywhere. It's on YouTube. And y'all gonna get a big dinner out of this. You don't promise. Cause even he's gonna deal with me. So. Finally, we got it done. <laughs> yeah, I got a public school education. You count it. Mm -hmm. Tell us when what. Double check me. You know my math ain't math. Here's some of the Jordan stuff that we picked up this weekend. Got this North Carolina on car auto Jordan card. Some star Jordans. Got this whole lot. Got Luca, Mr. 72 points. Let's see. Harris. Got some Payne Mannings. Hey guys, so we got a buddy here. He wants to do a bet. $5 bet. Give him three shots to see if he can make it in here. If he missed all three shots, I'm taking his $5. If he makes at least one, I'm giving him $5. Go ahead, bud. Oh! Hey, watch out for the cup. Yeah. Oh, he got it. Awesome. So he wants to run it back. So we're doing it for 10 bucks now. Let's go. Oh. That's two. That's two. Last shot, baby. Don't choke. We got Don't another choke. buddy that wants to do it. Five dollar bet. Oh, that was close. Two more shots. Two more shots. Two more shots. Oh, oh, oh. Last shot. Take your time. Last shot. Here, here. Let me move it back for you. Ah, oh, sorry. Thank you, buddy. Good try though. Bam. So we got the special lights. Don't you have to take it out the case? Nope. So what are you looking? It's good. It's good? Mr. Robert here brought a rocking chair. I don't know if y'all can see this, but it's pretty fun. It's rocking at a car show. I feel like an OG car show man. I feel like an OG car dealer. Sitting at a car show rocking my chair waiting for people to give me money looking all grumpy and stuff too <laughs> all right guys so i'm taking my restroom break but here's a quick little look at the show is Paxville. we got about like two and a half three hours left of the show and we'll see what happens and look it's uh uncle dan right here what's up uncle dan So you guys want to go in the restroom with me? Let's go. Ah, just kidding. All right, so they got a basketball court here at a car show. How fun is that, you know? Let the parents bring their kids here. Just let them come here and play basketball. Well, you get to look at cards and toys. It's a pretty, that's why they call it Culture Collision Trade Show. It's not just a car show, it's a little bit of everything. You know, we got Pokemon, Yu Gi Oh cards, sport cards, sneakers, toys, games. I see some jewelry down the road over there. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, you're a professional vendor right there. Bam! You gotta get the case and you gotta use it as a chair. Sit down on a chair. Shout out to Emon, Carmon. Moving up in the world, eh? So we just 
Let's pick up this Patrick Mahomes. PSA 10 Optic Rated Rookie. I think he's gonna be the next baby goat. I don't think he'll surpass Brady. Brady's like Jordan. I think he's gonna be like LeBron or Kobe, but it's pretty cool. Pick it up. Paying cash? Very cool. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. Alright guys, so it's about 4.40ish, give or take, and our show closes at 5 today, so we got like 30 more minutes, give or take, uh, until we gotta pack up and then head over, get some food, and then we go to the Car HQ for train night. I am excited to see what the shop looks like, you know, uh, yeah, pretty good day, busy, pretty good. Uh, yeah, I have not been able to walk anywhere past like this section. Uh, so you see behind me, there's like I say eight rolls all the way down, and I have not been able to pass them. So I would like to uh, walk around, you know, make some deals with vendors. But yeah, we've been pretty swarm all day today, which is good. I'm not complaining. I'm actually prefer to be swarm. You know, like. It's more fun if you just at a car show for like eight hours and you set up. If you're sitting there and no customers, it's just boring, you know. But if there's like constant customers, you get to talk with people, make deals. It's just more exciting. But hopefully tomorrow I can get a little bit of walk in, get some steps in, and you know buy some tables out. Hopefully, but I'll let you guys know what uh, what happens. But yeah, if you guys want to take a look at behind me shooting basketball it's a little bit far but yeah right there Yee! it's just about 5 30 now and we we're still making deals but they kicked us out but yeah everybody's heading over to either the trade night or to dinner so the hotel is attached to this convention center i guess this is what's it called uh and they have like shuttle buses that will take you like down the road five minutes down the road to the uh, car HQ place for tree night. So that was cool, but I think we're gonna go get some food. Going back to that same restaurant yesterday, Murph's. It's like the most convenient, so it's all right. Let's go check it out though. Where the venue was, so we walked a little bit over here and we're gonna go down to this half abandoned mall. This place has like a abandoned mall vibe. There's like some stores, but a lot of them are out of business. They got an UGG store. Murphs. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I actually like the decoration of this mall, you know? They, they got trees, they got lights. It looks pretty good. It looks like a city. The place is a lot busier than yesterday, but I mean, it's about 5.30 now on Saturday, so it's dinner time, and I feel like they have some kind of party because everybody's dressed up in nice clothes uh, over there, so. Alright guys, so we started with some appetizers, got some egg rolls, we didn't, we've never gotten this, so try it out, chicken egg rolls and some hummus dip. Try something new. We usually get the same thing every time we come here, so try something new. Guys, we are at the Car HQ. There's apparently a line to get in. That's cool. It's 8 p.m. right now. There's cops outside. I'm not sure what's going on. I mean, of course, they got to have security, but there's like four cop cars here. So, I guess that's good. Let's see if we can get in. Here's the free bus show that brings people back and forth from the car shop to the hotel. What do you call it? Did you buy it all? Yeah, they were here. What are you boys doing? I'll be this way too. We bought 110 MLS coin boxes. Oh, no, that's bad. They're all gone. 
I apologize for turning off the audio. It was very loud in the room and they were playing copyrighted music and I didn't want to be flagged for copyrighted when I post this on YouTube. But here's a first look at the Car HQ Car Shop. I really like their designs. They have very cool artwork all over the walls. Their display case for their slabs look amazing. Uh, it looks kind of empty. I guess they could squeeze it together and fit more slabs per row but I guess it's still early on maybe these might do that later on one day when they get more product and inventory in of course with Jeff Wilson having a background tech this store it looks very futuristic they have a lot of cool tech places in futuristic places especially for a car shop so here's the cash register where you can check out and here's the middle of the room where they set up tables to sit down look at cars they also have showcases for wax where you can look through and everything is pretty nicely organized they got a good amount of selection of vintage as well the building itself is pretty big but they use a lot of space for the cases and stuff so it does seem a little bit cramped with all these people in here and as i mentioned earlier with all the technologies in the shop they have a lot of rooms just for contents Thank you so much for watching my videos and please if you haven't yet subscribe to my YouTube channel like and comment down below it would really help me grow. Also please follow me on Instagram and TikTok at GMFIRED. Thank you so much for watching my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Fart! <laughs>